Millions of U.S. workers now have until January 4th, that deadline, to get the COVID vaccine. The rule impacts any business with 100 or more employees. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne is live outside Aurora Sinai with what it means for you. Well, Gabrielle, as you know, many businesses have already required the vaccine for its employees, but one Wisconsin group is trying to stop the federal mandate in court. New government rules issued this week set January 4th as the deadline for companies with 100 or more employees to ensure workers are either fully vaccinated or tested weekly for the virus. The requirements do not apply to people who work at home or outdoors, and employees can ask for exemptions on medical or religious grounds. Many large businesses and municipalities in our area have already required the vaccine for workers. This week, the city of Milwaukee announced 95% of its workers are vaccinated. The city of Milwaukee is an employer like many other businesses throughout the state of Wisconsin and we have an obligation as an employer to provide a safe workplace for our staff. In August, Northwestern Mutual announced a vaccine requirement for its 2200 employees and contractors who access company campuses. In September, Fox 6 spoke with the president of Drexel Building Supply, who at the time told us he will not comply with the federal vaccine mandate for his 650 workers. Companies face penalties of more than 13,000 per violation or more than 136,000 for willful violation. It's going to cost significant labor disruptions. Conservative law firm Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty filed a lawsuit against OSHA Thursday on behalf of two Wisconsin manufacturers, Tank Craft and Plastic Craft, asking for a nationwide injunction. The group expects the court to take up the issue in the next week. OSHA does not have the constitutional or statutory authority to issue this sort of emergency regulation. It's up to Congress to pass new laws. Now, last month, Advocate Aurora told us 440 of its employees either quit or were fired over their vaccine mandate. That may sound like a lot, but Advocate Aurora tells us it's only 0.6% of its total workforce. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Brett, thank you.